What's going on guys? I'm the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scrub, but please just call me Bailey. Coming at you today with a video, actually the first real suggestion from this channel I'm going to be doing. I saw Val, thank you, shout out to you, commented about a week ago on uh, my one of only video that he wanted to see some Cold Wave Monarch. So I did some research, I was looking up, I saw there was a second place build, and I bet that was probably where uh, the idea came from. Uh, in some recent tournament, there's a deck profile Looked like a good, fun deck. Um, I made some changes to it, though. I didn't want to just net deck a guy. Um, I'm not sure if I've made it better or worse. Uh, you'll see my build, though. Of course, I took some inspiration. I mean, there's only so many cards you can run. So, yeah, I'm going to look at other people's decks and try to figure out well, what are they trying to do, what's good, what's bad, what would I change if I was to build it. So, obviously, with Cold Wave, if we can ever uh, find a match here, you know what? Is just going to do this dueling book? All right, let's uh, refresh the page. Excuse me? Reconnecting. Okay, there we go. Um, skip intro. There we go. Let's hopefully uh, have this work this time. Goat format. Joint pool. This is all going in the video. There you go. I mean, at least now we're waiting for a partner. So, Cold Wave, the changes that I have made, and we'll see if they're good or not. I am more monster heavy in this deck than I am Spell and Trap. Obviously, because Cold Wave, you can't run your own Spells and Traps after you use it. So, I want to just be using monster effects. I've put a bit more Chaos into the deck than he had, hoping that basically I can use Cold Wave into a bunch of Chaos and Monarchs and just push for more damage than he was able to push. He was running more control build, and I think it might, I mean, control versus aggressive. Aggressive is always nice when it works. When it doesn't work, it feels awful. That's basically how I see a more combo-heavy, aggressive decks in GOAT format. They're fun, but not so consistent. Opening hand here, though, I have Thunder Dragon, Duo, Jar of Greed, Grand Marg, and Cold Wave. He uh, just discarded Thunder Dragon, so that kind of makes my Duo a little bit more dead. Cold Wave here is okay, but I'm probably not going to activate it next turn unless I draw something really good. I'm waiting on him. Six cards in hand, two of which are Thunder Dragon, so four cards in hand. No, seven. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five cards in hand, I don't know. I forgot that he drew for turn. It is GOAT format. That is a thing. First turn draws. What do you guys think about that old rule when the turn player... I remember I joined back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I played in elementary school when I had no idea what I was doing. It was just fun looking at the cards. Uh, played with a bunch of fake Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, but, like, who cared? That was why it was fun back in the day. Upstart Goblin. Okay, give me a thousand life points. But I remember that uh, in 2013, I joined right before Dragon Rulers. It was literally like the OCG Dragon Rulers had just been dropped. And the, excuse me, uh, TCG was about to get them. And that's when I rejoined. And so I was like, oh, what am I getting myself into? But it was fun. Okay, stand by main. Let's actually play the game here. Excuse me, a lot of water on my mouth. <laughs> okay, um, shuffle hand. Definitely, I mean... Two Thunder Dragon in hand, I honestly, should I wait? Um, I'm just going to start my own Thunder Dragon. I think that's at least a play that I can just say is absolutely no downside. No reason to not open Thunder Dragon. Now the question is, can't use Cold Wave because it's not the start of my main phase one anymore. Excuse me. I can break or something. Um, let's go with breaker first. Okay, so I was just kind of waiting. 4,000 life points, solemn judgment. I'm fine with that. Um, here... 
I'm just gonna, I think, set a card. The question is, do I duo or not? And honestly, I don't not. Maybe it's really dumb not to duo, but I kind of want him to try to find a way to get other Thunder Dragons out of his hand before I do anything. One face down monster. It was a Dekoichi, okay. Nothing to interact with that, but that's fine. Like, that's kind of what I want. I want him to get more cards in hand, so at least my duo then isn't as stupid and dead. Okay, Breaker. And if he wants to attack. Alright, draw Sinister Serpent. I swear that was on top of my deck when I added the Thunder Dragons, but I mean, it shuffles when you leave, so that's 3,000 damage. It's weird that I ended up drawing Serpent. So, Tomato. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Um, I think now is the time to duo. Let's see, I'm gonna shuffle. Hit the middle one. Hopefully it's not Thunder Dragon. Maybe a Chaos Monster. Okay, it was Thunder Dragon. That's just how it plays sometimes. You hope. It doesn't always turn out well. Um, I think the play here is... Uh, actually, maybe that's not the play. I was going to say, I, right after I click Normal Summon, I'm thinking, because now I'm going to give him a Dark, but I'm going to... I've committed. I'll give him the Dark. Uh, now the question is, can I get Cyberstein? N no, I can't. I don't have the life points. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just get another Mystic Tomato. And I'll set Cold Wave just for a bluff and end my turn. Obviously, it will be really nice if I can end up flipping that next turn if he doesn't get rid of it. It's kind of like a heavy storm in a way. He might set a bunch of back row. So he has a dark engraving. So basically now, yeah, he's viewing. I'm worried that he's going to probably have a Chaos Sorcerer or a BLS. Yep, and he's just going to get rid of the Mystic Tomato. Getting rid of my Tribute Fodder. BLS. Okay. And probably hit for 16. Does he have a normal summon? So right now, the observations I'm making about my deck is, obviously, I knew it was monster heavy, but the problem is I thought I would have enough ways to get tributes. Maybe it's just that he got the advantage roll in a bit early. And you know what? Even now that I say it, actually, I guess he wouldn't have had the Dark and Grave Hide set in Mystic Tomato. I just didn't want him to have so much board presence, but it's kind of coming back to bite me in the butt. All right, he doesn't want to attack. Standby, main, um, this is actually pretty nice now, um, yeah, cold wave, okay, I'm gonna assume that is good, now I will, uh, mystic tomato could actually be a little more useful in the future just because it can float banish banish declare then tribute grandmarg and attack he could have chained jar greed maybe he just wanted it as a Bluff. I believe that's how it works, right? Yeah, like, it doesn't say you can't chain to Cold Wave. It just says after it's resolved, you can't do anything. So at least I get rid of that free card. All right, so now I have the board presence, though. He knows I have two Thunder Dragon in hand. I know nothing in his hand, I believe now, because I've discarded the Thunder Dragons. So, okay. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Just duo. What are you going to hit? Two Thunder Dragons and a Sinister Serpent. Um, 
I'm going to send the other Thunder Dragon. Just I don't want him knowing. I want him keeping it a guess, like, what's that last card? And maybe I can draw, like, a Metamorphosis or something. That'd be the best, I think. Snatch Steel is okay. Standby main. Uh, Cold Wave can't set that. All right. I had to double check two. <laughs> All right. I'm honest. Yeah, I haven't played Cold Wave much, so I want to make sure. Like, can he set? No. Like, that's why it's broken. All right. And to grave. All right. I think I'm in a decent place here. Unfortunately, like, Cold Wave is just a dead draw right now. But Snatch Steel is always nice. Okay, that sucks, but whatever. I'd like to see maybe uh, Gravekeeper Servant. Or Gravekeeper Spy, not Servant. Who, what am I saying? But that would be a really good draw because at least it would give me, okay, Snatch. If he doesn't have back row to set, though I know he has one unless it was the Nobleman that he set as a bluff, this would be game. Attack for 23. Okay, please don't have a back row. And he left a duel. He, he just knows that I have something waiting for him. Come on, I don't want it to end like this. This isn't fun. I know we can come back. I believe in you, Fonzie. Fonzie 96, the tour guide. In the breaker sleeves. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. <laughs> Come on, I don't want it to do this. All I'm asking is so I can snatch steel and attack for game, please. It would feel so nice. You know what, it could just been one of those things, like I don't know what he's playing on, but he just accidentally clicked X, and just, that's how it be. Am I going to lose or am I going to win? This is almost better. Like, I wish if I just had no good cards, I could feel like, all right, I'm going to lose anyways. But having Snatch Steel, I just want to know, does he have a back row to set that would deal with this? I don't think he's coming back. Nope. Okay, well, you know what? We're going two in this video. I'm not going to let that be the end. So maybe Cold Wave Monarchs would have been good. I like that he's using the uh, Monarch art. Paper, man. Three in a row. Four in a row. Oh, no. Why'd I lose? That's the match right there. All right, going second. Cold Wave, though, it's still a good card. Oh, okay, that sucks. Thunder Dragon, two and Thunder Dragon opening in hand. You don't like to see that. You'd like to see one Thunder Dragon in hand. Never have drawn three, I'll say that. That'd be absolutely horrid. Set one, pass, okay. Kind of leading into my breaker. Meh, or heavy, but nah. Standby main. Just gonna add one Thunder Dragon to hand. Um, summon Breaker. All right. No, oh, you should have heavy stormed. I'm not gonna heavy storm for one. Even if it would have gotten the Breaker onto the field safely, I, I just don't think that's the play. I just want to say like a Gravekeeper Spire Tomatoes. I run six copies and. I guess I saw the tomatoes last game didn't work out. All right, get rid of my mirror force one for one. All right, just can't do anything. So this is maybe another downside. Too many tribute monsters. I mean, when it works, it works. When it doesn't, you just have a game like this. 
I put the Thunder Dragon in thinking I wanted more light targets. I took out the Zaborgs that he was running. Maybe it's a bit too many light monsters with one Parshath and three Thunder Dragon. Pot Agreed, okay. That, that's a card. Activate Pot Agreed in the Imperm column. Tribe and Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, a lot of just dead cards. Um, I think Normal Summon, Attack, Magical Merchant, Duo. Okay, and I'm a pro set the heavy. Hopefully he hits the Thunder Dragon out of hand, but honestly, whatever he hits isn't that big of a deal. I just don't want him hitting the heavy. Two. Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. That's perfect. That's what you want to see. That's why you run Thunder Dragon. Alright. Sukiyomi hits over the tribe infecting virus due to its effect. Didn't set any more spells and traps. Mystic Tomato. That is perfect. Normal summon. And that's awful. Heavy. No, I don't want a heavy with one. I don't like one for ones with heavy. You run heavy to get two. Alright, at least I have the Chaos Sorcerer, because that will be able to deal with the Mystic, or uh, Mystic Tomato, the Shining Elf. Alright, you know what? I've learned my lesson. Activate Heavy. I'm just not going to let that be anything that can deal with anything. Now, actually, I guess I have the Dark Engrave anyways, because I forgot that I used Breaker. Alright. And I will, do I want to set, um, I know it's kind of dumb, but I'm going to set this, if it gets a Nobleman, and Serpent isn't that big of a combo piece, I don't have that many, like, discard outlets that are really important, I've already gone through, okay, does he have double Nobleman? I was kind of baiting one noble. <laughs> yeah, double nobleman. Okay. I, I, that is your way out, I suppose. And this is why I kept the Mystic Tomato engrave. Um, though I could also tribute. Eight hundred. Um, target Mystic Tomato. He allows that. He has a light engrave, no dark. I've seen... The better play here is definitely a tribute. Um, and probably for Grand Marg. Yeah. The greedy play is attack and try to wait for him to set another monster or something. But that's why. I knew. I was like, it has to be another Sakuretsu Armor Mirror Force. I haven't seen it yet. Glad I didn't go for Parshath. Okay. I have all the advantage here. Or the... Momentum. But he did have the Souk in hand and that can get over a Monarch. Only reason monarchs are really annoying and bad. Okay, and now I wish I had the serpent, but. Does he have a pro set heavy himself? Or MST maybe? Is he just gonna. MST, nope. Tsukiyomi in hand, but he can't summon it because. I got no monsters. DD Warrior Lady. Yeah, I'm gonna just say no. Still no darks in grave. But 
I don't want him getting the damage, and I don't want to deal with that effect. Maybe it's a little preemptive, but why take 15 if I know I want to use it on that? Like, see, now I drew Mystic Tomato. If Warrior Lady was on field, couldn't do anything. Now I can hopefully do this. Attack directly. Sakuretsu armor. Scapegoat. Okay. I'm fine with that. Hopefully it's not Metamorphosis in hand. That would suck a little bit. Haven't seen Meta. And it was a Meta, so he's running Chaos Recruiter Goat Control. So he's got Sook in hand, so Sook plus Thousand Eyes Restrict is... That, that's a combo. Set Jar of Greed. Haven't seen a Cold Wave this game. Eat 1,400 more from Thousand Eyes Restrict. Main 2, and... Okay, there's the Cold Wave. Um, but... I don't think it does anything on this board. I think I just Jar of Greed now. I just need the plays. Okay, see, like, that's why. Because now I can just set another Jar of Greed. and the turn. I don't have many things to do. This is... I think we're seeing the fault of this deck. Okay, 1,600 life points. Still have... Just a little bit more I can survive. Gravekeeper Spy. Okay, like, that's what I needed to see. Now this is defense. Um, problem is... If I set the Spy, then he sooks. He couldn't attack, and he would have a zero attack, thousand eyes restrict keeping him, but then he could start setting it with a sook and... Attacking for 11, and I don't have a way. Okay, I think the play here is Cold Wave. Chain. Anything? Chain. Jar of Greed. And to Grave. To Grave. Um... He just has, I think I just have to set this so I can get some tribute fodder and hope that he doesn't draw a thing. So I think the biggest problem and what I am seeing is I don't like running spells and traps when I have to run Cold Wave. Because it just is counterintuitive if I can't use the spells and traps. But I think it's almost like you can use Cold Wave to force your opponent to build a certain kinds of boards and then hold the spells and traps till after or vice versa. Uh, you can use the spells and traps and then use Cold Wave as a blowout card after so your opponent can't deal with anything. Alright, so now at least I'm here with the ability to maybe do something. Graceful Charity. Okay, discard one Mobius, and Magician of Faith. I have to activate Duo here. I think my only hope is hitting the Tsukiyomi out of hand. Okay, it was a creature swap. What else does he want to discard? I am almost certain he just has game here. I don't know what else really I can do. I'm trying to think. I think if he discards Sook, okay. I mean, maybe he has two. Set the Spy. I mean, maybe I have a play. That's all I can hope for. The Zaborg is probably the thing that I'm missing here because I can't get rid of the Thousand Eyes Restrict. I need that monster effect. Okay, I'm kind of seeing that, so maybe I have to have some Zaborgs in the side. You're learning. That's why you build in playtest decks. You have to realize what's holding you back, 
what's going well. Book of Moon, okay. Really keep a spy ascent. If I draw like a chaos monster, it could be okay. BLS. Flip. And just to grave. To grave. <laughs> He's gonna attack over both, but at least I survive. Magician of Faith. I'm just going to play it out. I mean, I have no idea if I can do anything here. I just have to hope he makes a mistake, maybe. Pot of Greed. All right, well, I guess if he needs two more cards, he gets two more cards. What other games besides Yu-Gi-Oh! do you all play? Do you guys like playing other things? Are you really just a card game lover? Me, personally, I've been playing some uh, Binding of Isaac Repentance a lot. All right, ends that game. So, Chaos Recruiter, bring in the Kaikus. So, what I wanted to build in this deck was kind of like a, I can take out the Cold Waves and have a new kind of game plan. The Cybersteins are weird. I understand why, because they can be blow out with, like, a big Master of Oz. Uh, actually, when I was building this, I was like, can I build a Last Will Cyberstein Megamorph deck? I, I think it'd be really funny. Um, I don't know if I can, though. It'd be difficult. What else? Three Cold Wave. I need one more card. And you know what? There we go. I'm just going to say no Dia's traps. I saw a good amount of traps that game. I'm going to say nah, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. This man is confused. He doesn't know what to side against me. In my cold wave tribute deck that just loses to Tsukiyomi and Thousand Dives are strict. I mean, I took out the Regeki break. That was one out, Thousand Dives of Drake. I guess I put in the Brain Control, so that's a, another out now. Kind of weird, I'm going first and second. It's like I put Brain Control in for second, but Decree is good for going first. Gonna be going first this match. The Brain Controls, though, are just kind of so I can take his Chaos, take his Thousand Dives of Strict. Big monsters that he wants to keep. I'm gonna say mine. Cold Wave being gone now, I mean, he's gonna be thinking, like, can I play my spells and traps? He has to use them maybe a little earlier than he would like, out of fear that he will be locked out from them. Cold Wave is a broken card. Why did they think it was a good idea to be like, you are not allowed to play two-thirds of Yu-Gi-Oh? Literally, if monsters, spells, and traps, and Cold Wave's like, yeah, spells and traps don't exist for one turn. You just, no, please no. All those green and purple cards you got in your hand, no. All right, finally, I will be going first and probably just losing, but, you know, we technically got a win. So, this match is already, who cares? If I lose, I'm just one and one. Okay. Um, discard Thunder Dragon. I mean, obviously, that's just what you do when you have it. think just setting the spy is the right play here. If I get Nobleman, I get Nobleman. Nothing I can do about that. I mean, what? I could have set the Kaiku. Or not set the Kaiku. I could have normal summoned Kaiku as a different alternative uh, turn one play. But then what? Set the spy. At some point, I was going to have to set the Gravekeeper spy. And he was going to probably Nobleman it. At least it's out of my deck, I guess. I mean, I like them in my deck because they're really good tribute fodder and walls, but... Whatever. <laughs> you got choices. 
All right, that's uh, the first time. Trap does shoot on a seven card hand. One, two, three, four. Yeah, seven cards. <laughs> All monsters. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> one out of seven. So he picks tomato, leaving me with a bunch of traps and spells that I can't use. Traps and spells. I literally just got over saying how, oh, I have all monsters in my hand. I got a bunch of traps and spells. This is what happens. Think before you speak, people. It's important. Normal summon Kaiku. Attack directly. Scapegoat. All right, so he's probably going to have a metamorphosis, but... That he's just blessed to be the one playing spells and traps. I guess I'm not. Pod agreed. And there's the metamorphosis. Hit me for 18. And set one, set two. Mystic tomato draw. I do know I shuffled my deck. Um, set one. Now I'm just gonna quickly check the log. I mean, I'm like 99% sure. Um, okay, it doesn't matter anyways. He's got the second tomato, or nobleman for my tomato. It's me for another 18. Can I just get some tribute fodder on the field, please? I guess that is what I asked for. Um, problem is, I have no way to get over. Okay, premature burial. Okay, he has MST for premature burial. Um, that was also the main phase, but whatever. Um, I was going to tribute over the Thunder Dragon for Jinzo, trying to get a light and dark engrave, but I guess right now I just have to end my turn. I don't have play. So yeah, this is this is why you don't run Chaos and Monarch in the same deck. I really thought maybe Cold Wave was the way to make it work, because it would just be a very explosive uh, deck to put big beaters on the field. Okay, maybe now we have a small chance. This is a card he did not see before. 800. Give me that. I want it. Book of Moon. Okay, that gives me the light and dark. Okay, so he's going to Torrential the field. TT resolves first. Yeah, no, I use Pryo, and so it would be Pryo, Chainlink 1, BLS, Chainlink 2, TT, TT destroys the 1,000 items. Strict BLS would resolve no more target. Not that I want to have an engrave, I mean, it's just an extra dark form to have, but I will play by the rules. I'm not a cheater. If I'm wrong there, that may just tell me I'm wrong, but I'm almost 100% certain that that's how it would go. I mean, maybe he just didn't think I was using Pryo, but of course I'm going to use Pryo. No reason to bring it out and think. I mean, I guess I could have attacked over it, but nah, I wanted to use Pryo and Banish. Just I like BLS, he just goes, no, 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 like if every turn, you're not here, you're not here, you're banished. He's the king, he's exiling everyone. Dude, I don't want to wait forever. Please hold. Like, I get you can think, but just like, please hold. Dude, you're in the middle of a match. You don't get to just be like, oh, I'm going to go get something to eat. 
Um, the food's here. No, like, I'll give him, like, a minute, but if he doesn't come back, yeah, I'm calling it judge. I'm not just gonna sit here waiting for you and your three cards. You have, like, play the game. How many options do you got? I just don't know what please hold means. Like, give me 15 minutes. I gotta poop. <laughs> Alright. And enough about that. Set this and enter. <laughs> Think and please hold to me are diff. <laughs> like, if you, someone says please hold, I'm literally thinking you're getting up from your computer, going over here, coming down, like, you're just, no. <laughs> Thinking is like, oh, well, I have an option, what am I going to do? Please don't, nobleman of cross out. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Why? I just want to play the game. <laughs> you have outs, frowny face. <laughs> this is what playing Yu-Gi-Oh feels like. You just are trying to do something. Okay, banish, banish. GG's. I'll let him attack. All good. This deck needs work. Too bricky. Tried to. I'm gonna tell him. Tried to make cold wave work with aggressive monarch and chaos, but. Too many big monsters. So he's literally telling me he net decked. I tried to change up the deck. Angel Chaos Zombies. Love the zombies. Alright, and I'll admit defeat here. I was hoping he was going to attack. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later and goodbye.